guys have just watched the warden kind of blip out of existence in front of you as you guys finish loading up the land speeder. Apparently, Ravnaran is on his way to the holocron chamber. What do you do? Everybody get in the ship. Yeah. We gotta make it back. <laughs> Move. All right. I, I think so. <laughs> then we just beat feet. We, we beat feet into into the ship. Into the ship. Okay. Uh, so Nico lifts off. Strap in. Strap in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seatbelt. Seatbelt. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Jump in. Buckle full up. Throttle. Maniac. So you, full throttle. <laughs> Oh, off, shit. Off, off the planet. You only need to go like a hundred feet. <laughs> <laughs> the G force is like shaking. Yeah. My eyes are like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> your eyes. I forgot about your eyes. And Neko's tentacles are like trailing back like into my face. And I can't lift my like... hand to swat them. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys make it uh nico uh, sets the phoenix down just outside the temple doors it would probably even be opening the door before we're landing yeah the the, the ramp is, is lowering <laughs> down even before it hits the ground with the with the landing gear sure absolutely yeah and uh make a move on it all right how are you guys approaching there's only one way in right Oh, That's there was a side entrance, though, wasn't there? We ever used it? Uh, you guys oh. would. I'm going to move you guys over to the map. Yeah, of... would we know if there's other entrances to this heard place? Of it. We were hold of it over there, but we never been there. <laughs> <laughs> there um, where, where that you guys, entrance. you remember you guys spent a week here. So okay. you probably would be familiar with every aspect of this place just like walking around and seeing things um there are some cave systems that were actually put into place in here as a way to try to hide like that holocron chamber that's kind of mm. hidden inside uh the mountain part uh, from where the temple is just a weird so based based on our week of kind of experience yeah. of this place do we have any kind of mental guesstimation of how long it would take to break into the holocron chamber? Um, hmm. Like, is it a safe he's trying to crack or is it a maze he's trying to navigate? Um, basically you would know that you, what the, what you can't see on this map is there are two sub levels. The first sub level was unlocked by the second holocron which was that kind of like garage type yeah. space that had a lot of the technical yeah. aspects of the temple there that you guys, uh, Dran and Nico spent a lot of time repairing uh, that part. And that's where also right. the lightsaber station was where you guys created your own lightsabers. Now, apparently this third holocron unlocked <clears throat> another level underneath. So basically these guys are coming up from that third level and there's actually a door in the back of the assembly hall back here that leads okay. to those there's like a door back there that leads to the sub levels where was the prison opened up at <clears throat> that would have been on the third the the, this, the, the third, third floor, the bottom the one, floor the one that yeah. like, they would have probably come up there if they're up on this level so we yeah. need to there a way to flank in the archives I'm kind of locked into that area because my guess is that he's probably holed up but we don't know because uh, I I could like... use my force power to try and figure out an advantageous position to take. Interesting. Hang on. You're saying that's the Raven. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna drop that, are you? I'm gonna put the map nope. in here so our friends at home can see what you guys are seeing too a little bit. Are okay. you going to are you going to use your force yeah. power? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, you can go ahead and roll your force die. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Oh, shit. Oh, man. So, mm, well, it seems, it seems you are being yeah. tempted, Raven, by the dark side of the force. I am being tempted. It leads to anger. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, she is really angry right now, so this makes sense. Um, so, yeah, I think she's going to use it. So you're channeling your anger. Yeah. To, I do I have to I have to flip right if I use it yeah you gotta flip but now since it's a double you have yeah. to take two. two strain and two conflict okay do we know who the doubler is today not yet yeah if it was me it would be four conflict so <laughs> all right <laughs> So there's All right, you said two strain. Two strain and two conflict. Two conflict. Let me put that on. Gosh, we're only 20 minutes into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you gain vague hints of... Uh, I get specific details times <laughs> one. Oh, and also it's two points. So if you have something that you can spend an additional point for to increase it... Because yeah, you double I can. It. Let's see. They're bad. Um. Four C. The force yeah, user I can, can see the voice flowing around everything, seeing what is and what will be. The user may spend a force point to gain vague hints of events to come, up to a day into her own personal future. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I will spend one of the force to pick out specific details equal to my strength upgrade, which is one currently. Okay. So I would get, like, specific details, and I'm going to try and focus on my interaction with this bad guy, the big bad guy. Okay, so, like our, like, in the times past, we get that so raven moment. <laughs> As we zoom into her <laughs> eyes, she just, she, just freezes. <laughs> she just freezes before she kind of like holds out her hands like, wait, and starts sensing and focusing on the force. And you begin to see yourself standing before this individual cloaked in black robes with a dark uh, uh, cowl. And you see him approaching this area i'm going to shift ping it for you see this door to this archive that leads towards the holocron chamber chamber right here yes okay he walks slowly towards it but there's some kind of blue energy field in that doorway that's preventing him from going any further and he looks frustrated but he doesn't seem to care. Like he's just standing there and just, he's keeping a very composed, nonchalant, like, kind of like, I'm bad and I know it and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> kind of deal. I know it. <laughs> and then you look, he, and he looks right at you and he says, it's about time you showed up. And then he <laughs> fires up a red lightsaber. It starts oh, to go, whoa, 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 whoa. And he takes a stance. And he looks towards you and says, We don't have to do this. And then all of a sudden, you fade back into yourself. So the specific detail you got that there is a defense stopping him from getting to the holocron chamber. But... It's not stopping him from being able to engage with you guys. Okay. How long did this whole vision take place? Probably within just a few seconds. Like, it was probably just really rapid. Did you? So I just see her you freeze. See uh, Jes Jessica, <laughs> Jessica sees her freeze, and then he turns to the other, the other two and goes, Does this happen often? Yeah, he does this quite a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this really works out for the best. <laughs> uh, right, so Archive Chamber, there's something preventing him to get to the Holocrons, but we need to engage now. Right. 
Sounds good. Take out my breath pistol. Head Maybe to the archives. Thing. Question, yeah. Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good to know. Mm -hmm. That uh, ancient uh, sword doohickey. Yeah. That work? <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can, yeah, you can, yeah, you can use it. Does it work? Does it work, or is it just like a a, a wall hanger piece? Yes, yeah, yeah. You can... Yeah, is it ornamental? Yeah, if I try, if I try to swing this thing, is it gonna come apart in my hand? Uh, it's. <laughs> Do you guys remember? Yeah. It, it looks very similar to the one that Malifax was wielding. It's probably duller and probably hasn't been used in a while, but it probably still does the same, like has the same statistics. So. Don't we have a sword? Yeah, you guys have two of them now. <laughs> Oh, I'll use that instead. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not going to use it, though. Um, got a lot of bad artifacts for being the good guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good guy. That's a good he just, daddy. He's just calling us out on our shit. <laughs> what have you guys been doing this whole time? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Raven. That, 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 that was Jim saying that. I'm just. I know away. that's that's me saying Jim's calling us on on our bullshit. Um, <laughs> Raven, one thing you would know by your vision is it seems as if you probably have a hunch that there's another force field on the other archive as well. It's almost okay. as if the gatekeepers are funneling mm. the Ravnoran for you. So, like, if you went in the front door, that would be right. he would have to go through you guys to get out. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think Raven's already going towards the front. She's heading towards the archive. Okay. I'm following behind her. Same with my blaster. Okay. I take it off stun now. Okay. <laughs> Cooking off stun. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeska uh, comes to and takes out his lightsaber. Okay. You guys got your if, lightsabers if this, all fired if this, up. If this guy's lightsaber ready, Yeska's going to. Oh, I have my gun. <laughs> I have my gun ready. The gun. Yeah. I have the gun ready. I'm going to use these stats. I don't know if this is right. For the gun oh, or the yeah. saber? Yeah. The sa the, 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 the sword. sword. Is this sword? Oh, the sword. Um, I think I have stats. That's the one with sword. the cumbers of three. I may just drop it and give up. <laughs> <laughs> How this, much encumbrance do you have? This thing is so stinking heavy. Who would even want to use this? <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Uh, it's encumbrance oh, of three. Here it is. Uh, it can be used. Uh, sword is wielded with melee skill. It deals deals damage equal to the wielder's brawn plus three. Oh. Oh. That's why it's good. That's, and, uh... and its wielder can inflict a critical injury by spending three advantage. So critical is a three. So you have to get three advantage for crit. Thanks to the cortosis composition, the sword cannot be broken or cut even by a lightsaber. Oh. oh. Okay. That's yeah, helpful. I got, mm -hmm. I, got, I got this. So a lightsaber cannot um, sunder this weapon. Damn. It's just brawl skill. Uh, melee. Melee. Mm -hmm. Brawl but is kind of like fist fight. That's what brawl is. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's melee, but it's brawn source. Like your brawn yeah. skill. Yeah, you use your brawn skill. It'd be your basically. It's it takes your brawn and you plus three it will be your total damage, your base damage for that weapon. I may have to pull this out more often. <laughs> yeah. Now, now he's just yeah. wielding an ancient Sith sword. That's great. That's. I mean, he's on his way to the dark side. He's, he's, he's equipping himself to be uh, the best. Yeah. He can be. <laughs> so he pulls this sword out. Starts. He kind of like swings it's it around once. He's like, <laughs> uh, he gets it. Gets it ready to go. So you guys are rushing in through the antechamber, up yes. the steps of the assembly hall. And as you hurry into this assembly hall, uh, all around you, you see the defense of, or the evidence of all these people like rushing out. Um, the place is pretty beat up and damaged. You see, uh, you see the evidence of just these battered defenses and debris and things laying everywhere. Um, as you approach, 
you sense a terrible darkness weighing down on your senses. And you realize, as you pick up your head, you see on the far side of the assembly hall, standing there, red lightsaber already aglow, flanked on either side by two of these crazed minions of his, is a cloaked figure that looks like this. And I'm going to share a uh, handout with you guys. Oh no. You guys can see what this guy actually looks like. Uh, wait a minute. It's Tizo. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I so quickly. Here is Rav Naran. Whoa. As oh, he's standing man. there in front of you. And he's got two of those basically Meow. just kind of random crazed maniacs uh, to either side of him. And he. He's pacing outside this door, trying. He's like looking around the room, and it's, it's. You can see that those archives have been blocked off by some kind of energy screen. It seems like the temple's defenses were in a good enough state they could at least protect the holocron chamber. And then he looks towards you all and says, "I was wondering when you'd arrive. You've inconvenienced me, and harried my army." But you cannot hope to truly win here. If you recognize this truth as I do, then I offer you a way out. Stand aside so I can leave the valley with my forces. And I'll not only, only leave you unharmed, but I won't ruin the holocrons containing those meddlesome liars you seem to value so much. My victory is certain. I shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> it's our light Jedi. Monologue. 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 Yeah, Blast. <laughs> okay. I, a monologue. I, was, I was respecting Michael's monologue, but she probably would have shot way sooner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, excellent. Here's what we're gonna do. The, the way the way it works in this game is there's not really a surprise. So he can almost feel the force as you're pulling the trigger, and he abruptly finishes his his monologue <laughs> as he sees this ain't going anywhere. You guys aren't leaving without a fight. So what I want you guys to do, I'm gonna go ahead and put a turn order up, and then you guys can roll. Uh, I'm gonna say everything's cool because even though it's tense, you guys know a fight's coming. So. Mm. Is this one of those? Is this one of those Han shot first moments? Is that is that what this is? is it, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Raven. I don't know that first. reference, but I guess that's me. There's already a bunch of stuff in addition, Michael. Is that a thing? Oh, uh, did we have too many on there? Okay. Two before we started. Give me, give me a second. We got a two and a two. A four and a zero. A four and a zero. So that two oh, oh that two oh is probably no good. And one of the other two that. twos is not good. I have to redo yeah. that. Uh, you can keep no, that uh, if you want. That's okay. We'll take oh, the one two. That looks that looks correct. Yeah, we'll go with those. And then uh, I got to roll for. I've got four of these guys. So let's roll four times here. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh. Ooh. God, they're awful. Oh, Hold on. oh, oh. And now, they have setbacks? I wonder why they have Ooh. setbacks in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that again. Something's not right. Because they're <laughs> evil. Because like, yeah, they, they're, they're like, yeah, yeah. That, they just yeah. busted, like, real bad. Yeah, that, that's, that's they not right. They have zero chill. Why won't let me delete that <laughs> last one? That's weird. Don't let me yeah. do, don't let me do, there it goes. Eh, just having a moment. Okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll try this again. Okay. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. There we go. That's better. Yeah, and they were they were downgraded too on their ability. What was uh. I? What was the game master thinking? Here we go. Much better. Yeah. Yeah. Like the other one. You like the other one better. I'm sure yeah. you like the other ones. Yes. Yes. I like the other one better. All right. Let's see what he rules. They fall. They fall over themselves, angel in the outfield style, as they're trying to rush us. 
Okay, so PCs break ties. So let's see if we have any ties on the list. Uh, it doesn't appear we have any ties. So it looks like we got an order set. Let me change the music from tense now that we're pulling triggers. Um, we ain't tense. <laughs> yeah, we, we need something a little bit faster paced here. <laughs> As we're getting into an epic battle. Let's play Saving the World. That sounds like a good track for this. A little happy at the beginning, but then it gets uh, uh -huh. action-packed. Oh, is that a metaphor for <laughs> the battle for battle? I'm, I'm happy <laughs> that's, that's, that Raven that's... shot him. So. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking you guys to a new map, and you guys should see Ooh. at the top everybody in position. Yep. <laughs> As I use my force power to foresee this happening. Okay. Oh, they're close. A PC a goes here. first. Oh, wait. This is I shoot. They shoot? <laughs> She's shooting, yeah. Yeah, go for it. All right. Uh, are you doing any maneuvers before you shoot or just pulling the trigger? Um, am I in short range? Technically, Go right now, you're right on the edge of medium. All right, so I would step up. Step up. Okay, so basically in between, like if you go in between those sets of pillars, you'd be within short range. All right. So I'd go like there? Yep. All right. Maneuver and a blast. So you're like rushing up in the middle of monologue. Uh, <laughs> what's, what's the difficulty here, Michael? Uh, short range, I believe, is one, one purple. Yep. One purple. And because you're firing at him... Oh, one thing I do have to mention is Ravnoran is a different kind of boss. Oh. He has he has a special talent called Adversary. Oh. And he has adversary rating one. So all combat checks against him are automatically upgraded one difficulty. Okay. So, oh. so, I will upgrade. So you upgrade I mean, that. Okay. So one purple becomes one red. Gotcha. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flip one of my destiny pool points. And you can go ahead and put two upgrades. And what it'll do is it'll make it one red, one purple. Okay. As you what blast he's saying this. is, he's just nasty. He's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can go ahead and fire. Ooh! It, do it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So you blast him. Yeah. Um, you will suffer one point of strain for that threat. Okay. <clears throat> As that uh, anger, that that anger that's been boiling in you coming into this room is boiling over a little bit. Okay. Um I will take um Yeah, I'm going to take strain okay and do defensive stance okay perfect so Go ahead and take additional uh, two strain yeah and ravnoran is going to do something called reflect so he's using what? his lightsaber to try to make it so that you don't hit him quite as bad so he's going to suffer three strain and reduce the damage by three Okay, and any attacks coming in on me for this round has upgraded difficulty. So he took 10 wounds from this shot <laughs> as he tries to uh, deflect it away. Ouch. He falls back just the slightest bit, and uh, that brings us to an NPC. <laughs> Because Raven did this, I'm gonna have <laughs> I'm gonna have Ravnoran go. <laughs> uh, I want to double check uh, what ranges he has of this. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. He is going to hold out his hand towards Raven. And he's going to try to use the force on Raven. Wait, what? And basically f fling Raven back into that pillar right behind her. Oh, no. As he has, what? he has an enhanced, he has force level three. That means he can roll three force <laughs> dice to generate his force points. <sighs> so I'm going to roll my force we, dice. We should have hit the gym. <laughs> <laughs> So, now the thing about him is he has to flip a destiny point to be able to use the light side because he's dark side. Okay. So he has two points there. So he can he can automatically spend two. Let's see, what would he need to do to throw her? Uh, one force point to move small. Two force points to uh, for medium to increase it. So yeah, he's like large, right? Yeah. Gargantuan? Uh, yeah, yeah, gargantuan. Yeah. I have a big butt. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Sergeant Pickham back in my old trade. <laughs> okay. Um... I think, if I'm not mistaken. He may increase the range power to medium. Okay. So basically he can do the power. He can use the second force point to make it a medium creature, but he can only toss you a short distance, which he's only just trying to throw you up against that pillar. Right. Uh, Ravnoran's range of force points to lift an object he can reach within a target. The attack roll is based off of Ravnoran's discipline. Okay. So you get a chance to resist this. Okay. So he's going to make a discipline check against your discipline. So what is your discipline? Uh, it's one yellow, one green. One yellow, one green? Yeah. Okay, so one yellow, one green. So that makes it one purple, one red. Interesting. And what then he has to do a discipline check to see if this goes through. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. oh, those force points aren't supposed to be there. <laughs> uh, so he, uh, he does succeed, but he takes one strain in the process. He does have strain to take, so it's not immediately injury. Right. Uh, and Raven, you feel the force just pick you up off the ground and you fly mm. and you get slammed onto that pillar. Uh, and the damage for this is going to be, uh, move damage is 10 plus the damage of uncanceled successes. So 12 damage is so oh. it's soakable. It's soakable. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. How much soak does your armor give you? A uh, four. I'm not looking good. <laughs> so Raven is slammed up against that pillar and he uses his uh, maneuver to kind of move back behind a couple of his, his buddies over here, giving him some cover from the minions. If you guys are okay, I would like to take the two zero slot if, if anybody objects. No, the two, two slot. All right, so we got two more NPCs that can go. So these guys over on the side. Uh... Oh. Is that two? Oh, yeah, sure. One and two, 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 three. What's that? The turn order. Does it go two, one, two, zero, then two, two? Let me double check. I'll go to the B. I got a four, oh, which was Raven. Then a three, two, which was him. Mm -hmm. Then a two, one, then a two, oh. Then I've got a PC at two. Wait, two two is supposed to be up there. Weird. I'm not sure that the turn order registers uh, oh, the, the, the the yellow. It's rolls. not. Uh, yeah, it's not. Uh, looking uh, yeah, at the, yes, yeah. You the, got it. The, yep. Because the there's also the ones. I mean. Yeah. Yep. I'm adjusting it right now. Something's not right. So I'm fixing it. There we go. There you go. That's yeah. better. Yeah. So it is a PC's turn. Uh. 
I would like to take that if anybody has an objection. <laughs> you all know what I'm going to do. I do it every round. <laughs> <laughs> Convince them to join us? <laughs> yes, I want to look at the nearest prisoner. Probably this one. Okay. And I want to hold my focus. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and see if I can do this. Uh, it will cause them... This is the strength. This one's the one I can actually coerce them. Um, as I try and tell them... Uh, I don't want to be obvious, but yeah, I do. <laughs> Enemy is behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, so is this a uh, these are these are not the control. droids you're looking for? Moment, I believe. Yep. Control rank two. <laughs> I'm gonna make a. I think this is the part where I make a discipline versus discipline first. I with think. The force. And also, I think you'd have to use your maneuver to get a little bit closer. I think possibly you have to be within short range, or is it engaged? Uh, it says if you use been the motion of pain is and true. Well, range, but I can I can get close. That that makes that's fine by me. Okay. There's no range on it. It Doesn't say anything. Like if you try to you it. try to use the force and you're like what? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> didn't work. Didn't hear. It would make sense. I would have to be at least. Yeah. Close. Here it says on the influence basic power. It says. Uh, one living target he is engaged with. Oh. Down there at that, that bottom line. So that, that's the range yeah. of that. Or moving. So uh, but if you have the a, but if you have range, you can increase the range to equal to the range range it purchased. So if you have that ranged one, then you could go from short range. Okay, then I have that one mm -hmm. already there. And I yeah. I would spend the force anyhow. Right. But still a mm -hmm. discipline versus discipline, but I add my force to the discipline, right? Yep. And I'll tell you what their discipline is so you can add it to your difficulty. Let me see what his discipline is. Uh, It'd be one red. Delicious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my discipline is one yellow. So let's see how this goes. Ooh. Nothing, it's a wash. Oh, but I don't even get to use the force. Boo. Uh you're using uh, you you do use the force, uh, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to convince him much. God darn it. <laughs> I'm going to notice what happens and I will take I wanna be here because that's my move maneuver. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Take a point of strain to hide. <laughs> it's it's a two strain to hide for an additional Please maneuver. Stay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you start as as you're approaching and you're reaching out with your mind to try to tell this this person, hey, the enemy is standing right behind you. Uh, you hear Ravnaran say, "They've spent years with me." They know only the dark side. But I sense the force is strong with you. Perhaps you could join me. I could see you being a great lieutenant one day. <laughs> all right that ends the pc that brings us two npcs in a row so that one is not really like seeing you like walk up and then you're kind of hiding uh it's gonna rush up and what i'll do is i'll add a setback die to to it because of you're kind of hiding you're kind of like 
I would say you're just shimmying around the pillar as he approaches yep. to try to attack you. <laughs> it's making it very difficult as he runs into engaged range and tries to hit you with something. <laughs> um, so I'm going to say the difficulty on this is two purple with a setback die for the pillar being two in the way. Setback. Two setback. For the oh, yeah, because of the armor. Yes. Okay, so two setbacks, and he's going to try to hit you with this scavenged weapon of his. Ooh, he does <laughs> succeed. As he waits so he waits till you kind of pop out of the corner and it slams you with like it's broken piece of metal. Uh, he does suffer two strain in the process, but that's eight points of damage that you need to uh, resist. Uh, so it was great either. <laughs> uh, I'm probably doing equally not as great as Raven. <laughs> Uh, this one actually is going to use a maneuver to go one range band up to here. And it's just going to spend two maneuvers. Actually, seeing Raven like sitting there like, oh, like probably I would say slump down like <laughs> at the bottom of that pillar. Probably just uses going to go ahead and take two strain to rush by Raven and get into engaged range with Dran. <laughs> and then trying to slam Dran with uh, with this scavenge weapon. Uh, is there anything that would give it uh, any setback or anything, Dran? Not that I can think of. Not that you can think of. Okay, you don't have any armor or anything that give it give you any setback. Only soak. Only soak. Only soak. Okay, so two purple. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody, you want to spend a destiny point? I'm good. Okay, there he goes. He's trying to smack you with this weapon. Uh, it does hit with one advantage. So you are going to have to soak six damage. Okay. And he's going to soak half of it. Yeah. And he's going to pass the a boost to the next NPC that goes with his advantage. And that brings us to another PC. I think we've got Duran and Jessica. Jessica, you want to do some damage? You, you want you want Jessica to go? All righty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeska is going to. Yeska. Uh, am I? What is what is my range with this fellow here? Uh, right now it's short range. Uh, Yeska is going to quick draw his dueling blaster and shoot at that guy, like as he's dodging around the side of the pillar. Okay. Try, trying to, to find Neko. Ooh, uh, he go. he is engaged technically with Nico, so you're gonna have to add an upgrade to your difficulty. Okay. If you get a disparity, you just shoot me, so it's fine. Yeah. If you get a despair, you actually hit the other person. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Just just do it. Just do it. I okay. was in the way. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so what's my thing? Is your, it, is your, it a red? your difficulty is going to be one purple, so set it at one purple. But then under your difficulty, there's a place for an upgrade. Put your upgrade to a one. Upgrade. Okay. Got it. And then you can go ahead and roll. This time I'm going to click off the upgrade so it actually takes into effect. And there you go. All right. And then I, I shoot him. You shoot him. Ow. Uh, and you succeed you hit uh but i'm gonna say i'm gonna say it was really difficult to try to uh -huh. miss nico and it caused you a little bit of stress so you're gonna suffer two points of strain for those two threat so that's 10 right. damage do they have any soak let's see uh they do they soak four so that makes six damage to this guy and he what looks accurate one me yeah what does ac what does accurate one mean I don't do you know. do you know what that means because <laughs> it might actually up uh, it might upgrade your your attack okay. let me double check oh and it has pierce Ooh, one so they I actually have one less soak you yeah. have one your dice pool if you have accurate one. Yep. 
think oh, it's okay. funny because I'm pretty sure both me and Dr. Dread have that. Well, beca no, because 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 of that one pierce, that was good enough to kill this uh. guy. Oh, okay. His, <laughs> so he goes flying back and he lays in that 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 stream that seems to be creating this uh, uh, waterfall down here at the end and the blood just starts to run down the stream and turn the water to red. Uh, oh, you're ruining the water. <laughs> so yeah, I think uh, accurate, no, accurate one you said... My, uh... MG, you said accurate one means he gets to add a blue boost to his. That's rules. what I just saw online. I Excellent. don't know how well confirmed yep. it is, but it's. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you add a blue boost to all your attacks with that weapon. All right. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. It's all good. Uh, then, yeah. It I'll counts use my, as I'll use my maneuver to uh, to work work the work that lever to uh, to to reload it, and then I will spin it and uh, put it back in its holster. Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome so i guess that brings us to dr dran all righty uh so for me i think i'm gonna run around here just to kind of get myself a little more in the mix feel lucky and then uh once per encounter out of my med pack i can pull out a, a stim pack and i'm gonna slap it on raven be like get back in the battle come on you can do it <laughs> okay yes <laughs> Five healing, I think? Yeah, instantly Less. five. I, th I don't think you guys... Have you guys used any stim packs today? I no. don't think you have. Yeah, so that's five wounds healed for Raven. Thank you, Doctor. Is the, is the, is the degrading stim pack use, is that per, per game day or per game session? Uh, per, per game day. So, like, your your character has to take a long rest, basically, to... Start over. Okay. Oh, that helped a lot. And then I leer menacingly at, at, <laughs> at the end of my turn. I Excellent. You give him the lady <laughs> in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> the doctor used leer. It was not very effective. <laughs> hey, we don't know. We don't know. Um, it could be a very effective. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> this uh, one right in front of Ravnoran just kind of steps, uses a maneuver to just step uh, in front of Ravnoran and then uses its action to take a defensive stance, like standing there with this weapon, kind of just being his bodyguard, kind of. Uh, this other guy <laughs> runs over to Dr. Duran because he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> and tries to smack him as he's healing Raven. Uh, so that's two purple. Um, is that, I think that's it, right? Nothing else added to the roll. Oh, wait, no, he has a blue boost from uh, passed on from that other guy. So. Dr. Dram, have any armor? Any armor? I have soak. He, it adds soak to him. Oh. And he's oh, going to have to soak some of that because <laughs> he just smacks him. <laughs> Uh, and it's not enough to critical. Um, you know what? While you're healing, uh, Raven, I'm going to say, I'm yeah. going to spend those three to knock you prone. <laughs> so he slugs you and you fall flat down onto the ground, like not expecting this coming because you're staring at the other guy. And then this other guy rushes up and cracks you under the back of the head. Uh, <laughs> so that's seven. And then you can soak. So I'm still in the game. Nobody, nobody cracks open my calamari but me. <laughs> I'm, not sure. I'm not sure about the sentiment there, but <laughs> yeah, I'm on yeah, we'll return to that. Table that. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, we have we have to uh, start at the top of the order. So we got a PC to goes. Uh, I would like to crack the one that just attacked the doctor. Okay. Sure. Um, which one is that? Is the one beside me or the one in front? Like, is it this yeah, one or this one? one? Uh, the first one that you pinged. This one? Oh, the, the first, first one. This one. Yeah. All right. That guy came up and just smacked Dran. Just put him down to the ground. 
Let's see All if we've right. got a symbol for prone or anything like that on oh, here. Yeah. We'll just use the one that I traditionally use. The guy that looks like... Oh, here. No, not that one. There's knockdown. Yeah, use that one. That'll work. Which one? <laughs> looks like the wet floor symbol. Oh, I was symbol. talking to MG. Yeah, the wet floor symbol. Oh. <laughs> yes. oh. <laughs> it's slippery. Uh, it's... <laughs> It's one purple. Uh, are you shooting him? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, one purple. Uh, is this te is this technically close range? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll see if this works then. I don't believe he has anything that's going to. He's not going to have anything that adds any uh, setback. So. Ouch. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's a No. Uh, yeah, he takes he takes that and ha he does have soak. Okay, but he also takes an extra point of damage cuz I have point blank. Okay. <laughs> oh, cuz cuz you're like right at me and <laughs> Or is that only work on does that work on short range or engaged? Short, engaged, and close. Okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah. So he definitely takes one. It looks like you did a massive amount of damage. That those three can be cashed in for a crit, if you'd like. Or you could do something else with them. You can decide. Um, no, I'm not gonna waste a crit on this one. So I'm actually going to boost one forward to the next person and heal two strain. Okay, perfect. So the next PC that goes will have a boost die on their uh, skill check. As this prisoner is like, almost drops their weapon. They teeter back, holding this massive wound on their chest, blackened and dark from the blaster. Actually, uh, instead of healing the two string, can I disorient instead? Uh, yes. Is that something you can do? Yes. Okay. I can spend two, ad two advantages to disorient. Okay. Instead of healing. He is disoriented. <laughs> there is a condition for disoriented, I think, in here. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. It's this guy with the... Yeah, disoriented. That's it. And that adds setback to any other rolls, right? Is that yeah. how that works? Gotcha. Yeah, so I'm going to do that instead of healing strain. Nice. Okay. If I, if I go after that for the next roll and decide to choose healing... That go on to the next person, or yes. would it just be easier the next person that makes a roll is how that works? Her boost? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, yep, okay, cool. Uh, so does that end your turn? Are you gonna, uh, is that all you can do? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, I will stand up stand up okay excellent so npc rav naran's gonna go ahead and go and what he's going to do oh, is no. he looks like he's sifted around his belt and he's gonna use a maneuver to pull out an object and he's going to suffer two strain to take well actually he's just gonna go ahead and yeah he's gonna suffer two strain and he's and he's gonna jab himself with the stim pack that he just pulled out from his belt oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> healing Is five of his because wounds. he's got a fanny pack that's it he's got a fanny pack <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like yeah, i gotta i gotta pack. do this stealthily so they don't see this <laughs> 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 um, so he has an action left. So he is going to. Um, let me see. Is he within short range of anyone? Oh, yeah. I would. I would say that yes. I would say everybody except for Yeska is in the short range of him. So he's going to attempt to use the force again. Mm. And he is going to use his own ability. It's called Ravnaran's Rack. What? And he's going to what? try <laughs> to squeeze your brains with the force. What? 
How many? <laughs> as many as Breaking. he can get. Let's see how many uh, force dice he can uh, he can do. So let's see how many points he gets. Can we like use? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> oh my god! Oh wait, he can only use a dark one. Yeah, but he's going to. Wait, he can't do that. That's that's not gonna work. So he's gonna go ahead and I can use. I've got one dark side point. So he's gonna use that dark side point to flip those light sides. So he can use he would, them. In theory, take four strain from this. He does. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. So he's hmm. gonna take the strain, and he's gonna use his force ability. So to do this, I think the way it works is it just you? I don't think you guys get to resist this one like the move was. For each force point he spends, the target. Oh, I can spend one force point to increase the number of affected targets. So that means I can target all of you by spending one, two, three force points. And I have two force points left. So those force points are going to upgrade the damage that he does. Ooh. Uh, so... <laughs> All of you so that kind of include Jessica as well. No, because you're out of range. He can only do it within short range. Oh. So you guys start to feel this <laughs> impact on your head, and it's almost like somebody like you you're getting the worst migraine headache you've ever had. Uh everyone immediately, all three of you except for Jessica, suffer four strain. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. And that ends his turn. Now if I were to move move into or past that, would I like come into an area of effect or is it focused on them because nope. they're within range? There nope. He the, the, the he used it, it's done. It's over. So Oh, okay. It's not like a concentration thing where he holds on to it. Alright. It's a PC's uh, turn. Well, I think I think Yeska wants to take a turn if anyone doesn't object. Go for it. I'm just gonna heal. Um, I will say, it's probably a free action. I would be letting you know I got you covered. I'm standing behind the pole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And as you're shouting this out, you hear Ravnoran calling out. My offer still stands. You are outmatched. Lay down your weapons. And let me go. I got you covered. Jessica <laughs> <laughs> uh, stubbornness sneers, gives us the TPK at, here. Jessica uh, <laughs> sneers at this, you know, very underhanded attempt to change our loyalty. He just, yeah. It's it's not in him once he's decided loyalty to change his loyalty. Uh, so he's going to, uh, run up these stairs. Would that be like my full maneuver to go up the stairs or would I be able to jump over basically this, this, uh, this pond here? Basically the way it works is it's one maneuver to go from medium to short range. Uh huh. And then it'd be a next, another maneuver if you're trying to get within lightsaber of this guy, you'd have to be engaged with him. So you uh -huh. have to go one more maneuver. So you'd have to you'd have to suffer two strain to get right up next to him. All right, uh, I'll just come up here to where I am and uh, I'll shoot this guy. <laughs> shoot the guy in the front of him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's taking just, a defensive another, stance, another so he will have it, it's going to be one purple and one black setback, and one blue boost. And you got a blue boost. And one of my blue boosts. Thank you. And you got, wait, so you have two blue boosts because of your accurate gun and because oh. of the one that Raven passed to you. Now we'll be able to. <laughs> I forgot about that. As you're running Pi, I just like whisper very lightly in your ear, use the force. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 whispered, you whispered actually real life too lightly. I couldn't hear you. That's <laughs> an. <laughs> Horse. Shoot the horse. Oh. Shoot the horse. <laughs> shoot right. Shoot the horse. Right. They'll Pass shoot it the down. Horse. Tell <laughs> of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. Shoot I mean, the I horse. Don't really yes. Know about his job situation. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
is using the force counting as an action or can i is it is it, is it how does that work for for is most it like... things it is like most times you can only use the force once per turn but there are force okay. abilities that if you get down the tree it allows you to use the force during a maneuver uh oh. it just depends on how powerful okay. of a force user you are if he uses the force to upgrade the difficulty is that yeah. an action well the destiny's the destiny pool is different it's not it's 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 okay it's kind of okay, like so if we use destiny to upgrade see, you can you can you can use the force but also the force is always around you it's always right. working it's always that's what the destiny pool is like it's not okay. you channeling it it's what destiny decides for you it's kind of like this <laughs> it's like that ebb and flow of the so he could use good juju the, versus that, bad juju going on here <laughs> so, to like yeah. upgrade his yeah he could use yeah he could yeah, upgrade yeah he could flip the upgrade that's more changes of running the force. but that's not an okay. action <laughs> yeah. because yeah I have, and I oh and i did use i did use a uh dark side didn't i to i think i did and yeah, forgot to yeah. flip it yeah so you guys have all eight right now okay I have I say a little idea. Uh oh. I will use uh, a light side. And I'll, I'll go ahead and flip it. Okay. Yep. I don't have it until after the action, so I can't do anything. So. Okay. Are you going to upgrade? So you're going to so upgrade that, your that, attack? That, so... Uh. Things. Yes. Okay. So, how do I upgrade myself? Uh, it should be you on upgrade the... on the opposite side, on the left side. There should be an upgrade, yeah, downgrade on your side. Green. Yes. With the blues, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, click one for upgrade, and I'm going to use the force. Oh. Okay. What are you uh, What are you going to do with uh, the force? I'm going to use my misdirect power to create an illusion of me yeska shooting the guy that's in front of him of ravnoran so ravnoran thinks that he's dead okay huh. interesting so okay. it's as if i shot you know from the hip again and shot the guy but okay. i'm creating i'm creating an illusion that that appears that way but I have not actually shot him. Okay. Under misdirect basic power, says you may yes. spend force points to make a target or up as as up to short range, unable to perceive a chosen person or object or smaller. Okay, so you're basically going to make this this guy in front of him like temporarily disappear is basically what what this force power is kind of giving you access to. Kind of makes yes. them yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, is it is it making people disappear or is it making an it's, illusion of something? Because you let says, me you let me do falling boulders last time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we'll we'll do that too. I think I, I have to read a little bit more of the detail on what you can what the the basic power is that you can cannot see or sense a hidden person or object. So basically it hides things, but I'm going to say, yeah, okay. since I let you do that before, let's go ahead and we'll go with it. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like you're getting rid, technically getting rid of that buffer that he has of that person. So go ahead and roll your, uh, your force die. You don't have to roll any of the other dice. You just have to roll one force die. So I don't have to have a difficulty or anything for yeah, it. Yeah, you don't have to Either upgrade way. for this. Well, you know what? Let's do this. Since it's a little bit different, your difficulty is going to be Ravnoran's discipline. Okay, which would be? Because you're trying to fool him. It's going to be one red, two purple. Are there any black ones? Uh, no, not currently. Not for this. Okay. And don't forget, uh, it's against Ravnoran, so you have to upgrade that once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
All right. And then this will be this will the the dice that you're rolling with the force die will be based off of your discipline as well. So whatever your discipline is, because you're technically not using your gun, you're making it look like you're using your gun. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can roll the force die so in with that whole thing. My discipline is two green. So I put that up at the top of my yep. dice pool. And don't forget to upgrade it because you spent a destiny point, which was a good choice. And then your force die should be that. in there too. And two blue boosts. Well, one one oh, blue so because okay. you're not shooting. You're not actually, using the, gun, not actually yeah. using the gun. One blue because I'm not shooting. You're mm -hmm. right. And then one <laughs> of the force die in the dice pool. Yep. And then roll it out. See what we get. So do I need to roll the dice pool or do I need to roll down by my force ability? A discipline in your skills. Did you already add it into the top? I added my my what I have for my discipline. I added okay. those two green. And just, just roll it right there then. Just roll it right at the top. Okay. So, Ooh. I'm sorry. You, <laughs> I tried so hard. You it did. It was a good idea. It was a good idea. Good idea. It, it was a good idea. Very good idea. It, it, you tried very hard. You're going to suffer one strain because of how far, how hard you were okay. trying. Uh, but it seems like the the dark side is not easily duped. And you hear Ravnaran. Oh, oh, another one that can use the force. Look at that. How cute. <laughs> I don't like your tone. <laughs> uh, does that end your All turn? Right, I, that, Jessica? I, I guess so. Okay. That, that was my one cool thing I had. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's one your one. We'll just shoot him. <laughs> Try and fail. Next it was, time we'll just shoot him. It was a good try. This guy's pretty tough. Uh, we've got two NPCs that go. Um, this one next to Raven, in between Raven and Dran, is going to just try to smack Raven as she gets up. They and get one upgraded difficulty for defensive stance. Gotcha. Oh. One upgrade to difficulty, so that's uh, two purple with an upgrade. And you have armor, right? So one black? One black. Okay. Uh, anything else that would affect this roll? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think so. I think that's everything. Okay, he's going to try to hit you with the scavenge weapon. Nothing happens. <laughs> Misses. You duck, and it strikes the pillar behind you. And as a maneuver, it's basically going to maneuver around the pillar to the other side of you, getting away from Dr. Duran. And then the, uh, other, the other guy is disoriented, so they can still make an attack, right? I think they can. Okay. Disorient is somewhere in these... Uh... I think maybe they can't make, like, a maneuver. Like, they have to choose between the two. Choose between the two? Maybe. I could be wrong. I so double, double check. I can't remember. Do you guys remember what what page the... Oh, here we go. Ongoing status, status effects. Turn right to it. Disoriented. Disoriented character adds setback to all checks uh, it makes. Setback. Yep. It lasts until the end of the character's next turn. So after this turn, it won't be affected by it anymore, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so setback. So we're going to just try to beat Dr. Dran while he's down. I am prone. Yeah, I don't know if that affects the... Uh... I would say to give him a boost. All right. <laughs> uh so we got a setback for disorient two purple uh a boost for dran being prone and a beat down let's see no oh, missus you dodge out of the way dran roll <laughs> <laughs> it crashes to the ground excellent uh and now uh, so that one won't be disoriented anymore uh and it's just going to kind of shift to this side of dran Create some space in between, uh, so away from everybody else. Now we got two PCs in a row. I think this is. Uh, I think we got Nico and. Yeah. Me. I'm Nico and Dran. To... 
Are the only two that haven't gone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use my stim pack because I definitely need it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, mm, this sucks. Okay, let me do the stim pack first. No, the I way the way I'm rolling stim packs is if you don't have it like out in your hand, it takes a okay. maneuver to get it out. And then it takes a maneuver to actually use it. So you'd have to spend two strain basically to to use it. Oh, but you still okay. have your action during the turn. But I can also use my action to as a to maneuver. Use it. Yes. Uh to save on both economy, I think I would just use my stem back then. Okay. Now be my turn. Okay. So Duran. All right. As as I roll out of the way of this one that's <laughs> slamming down me, I'm gonna grab its ankles and I'm gonna harm with the force. So I'm gonna draw. Oh <laughs> yes. Suck the life out of this thing. Harm. Uh, oh. So harm. I believe it was uh, my intellect in damage, but I have to draw upon the force to do it. Standing. Yep. Uh, so I will try and to. I, see and it. I think you have to use dark side to harm, right? It says you can use either, but if I don't know if I if that's. But I take conflict, so it's you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going in here real quick and clearing this out. And I'm going to use. Oh, uh, okay. I see what I. It's under control on the second level. Oh, I'm gonna draw upon a dark side. I'll flip a, I'll, I'll flip a, so to give up one of our light side points, right? Yep, got a flip, and you got to suffer a strain and a conflict. A strain and a conflict. Okay, so I'm doing that, and the, the thing would take five damage unsoakable. Five damage unsoakable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, describe how this one goes down. I to just grab onto the ankles and just like kind of like pump my anger and my hate into it for trying to attack me while I'm down and uh, just sort of like I, I, like, I don't stop until I feel it thud to the ground next to me. From the other side of the room, you hear, yes, that's Wait, it. Good. Oh, oh. Let the anger and hate channel through you. Use it to your advantage. Uh Yikes. I'll use my maneuver to stand up and point at uh, at, 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 at that figure and say, "You're next. Watch out! <laughs> Strike me down!" <laughs> <laughs> he just stands there like this, like, "Come at me!" Jeez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and that brings us okay you can remove that marker now Duran as you're standing uh, the last NPC that goes I believe is the one in front of Ravnaran who hasn't gone yet uh, is going to rush Yeska and attack bring it <laughs> so it's going to be two purple does it do you have any armor that would I've got, my, I've got my armored coat. Yeah, so and set back. I've got my lightsaber out. You do, so it's two setback. Okay. Gonna take a swing at you with the scavenged weapon. Ooh. Oof. He hits. Oof. So it's seven soakable damage. Let me see what I'm gonna do with these four threat. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Um, first, he's going to use one threat, is going to go to strain. So he's going to take one wound for that. As he goes into this water, he slips and falls prone and splashes <laughs> into the water in front of you, Yeska. But and he still just, hits me? He's, he made contact with you, but caused him to slip. And he fell down like right in front of you. <laughs> and he's just laying there in that water. So he's called cool. a goober. <laughs> so I'm going to use the, the slippy uh, All right, I'm symbol going there. To, I'm, 
I'm going to use parry. Okay. So I'm going to, and I took, I, I used some of my XP from the last uh, session to upgrade my parry. And so when I'm hit by a melee attack, I suffer three strain to reduce damage by two plus my ranks in parry. So that'd be four. Wow, nice. So yeah, you deflect, you like hack some of the weapon off with your lightsaber as this thing makes impact with you. And since my soak is already three, you said you said he was trying to give me seven. Yes. So is that no damage? So, so it's no damage, <laughs> but I'm 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 near the top of my of my strength. Mm, gotcha. That brings us to the top of the order with another PC. I would like to jump in. Can I just stab this guy? Would you guys object if I yeah do just that? Took a do second that. And, and, <laughs> right. So yeah, Yeska's. Uh, his his coat is ruffled. Uh, he's he's not having a great day so far, so he's just going to try to stab this guy that's down in the water. Okay, uh, because he's prone, go ahead and add a blue boost die automatically. Okay. And, and the, uh, what's the difficulty on this? Two purple, because it's a all all engage lightsaber attacks are always two purple. Got it. I'll remember that. Unless you have something in your tree that like. Makes it better. Not yet. Mm -hmm. I do have an automatic advantage because it's curved hilt lightsaber. Yep. Automatic advantage. So let me roll. Yeah. Okay. So that, that automatic advantage will cancel one of those threat symbols. So you succeeded with one threat. So uh, okay. it's going to take an additional strain. So that's All what right. that's what the threat's going to be. And I am near the top of my strength. <laughs> and uh, that's enough what to take... I, what happens when I reach my strength threshold? Do I start taking damage just straight? Uh, what, yeah, what will happen... Well, basically what happens if you reach the top, the next one that you go, you'll fall unconscious. Mm. You, oh, okay. you pass out because you strained yourself too much. All right. Um, okay, you did enough damage to kill him. So you can go ahead and describe it. <laughs> if you'd like oh. uh with just a contemptuous uh kind of a downward jab just <laughs> and i, I just kind of look right up at, <laughs> at rav naran <laughs> and and just kind of roll my eyes at him this are you not entertained yeah this is not <laughs> going to go this is i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this is not going to go the way you think. How do you know I haven't already foreseen what will happen here? Yes, and breathing. yes, and she is foreseen, and you are foreseen. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, we could do this Yeah, all we day. could do that too. <laughs> you have a maneuver, I believe. Um, does does stim packs help me with only with my wounds, or do they help me with my strain as well? Just wounds, mm -hmm. just wounds. Yep, it's a med pack that helps with strain. If you if they roll advantage, it heals strain. Which the doctor does have. <laughs> All right, um, then I'm just going to use my maneuver to hop across this dead body. And uh, be ready to come at this guy the next turn. He just looks at you when you hop across that guy. He like just flips his red lightsaber around a couple times. He's like, "It took you long enough to get here. Stand ready." I salute him with the lightsaber and uh, and ready <laughs> ready to go. You got it. Uh, and that brings us to an NPC. So Ravnaran's gonna go. <laughs> I know. I know that I'm putting myself like right in the line of fire. This is exactly you what are. I think. Yes, uh, you're right. <laughs> uh, he is going to use his action to attack with his lightsaber. 
Uh, so that's going to be two purple dice. Anything that would enhance this, uh, it's two black, right? Yeah, two two blacks because of my coat and my lightsaber. And, and my roll 20 is, is interrupted connection right now, so gotcha. whatever you roll, just uh, tell me. What's okay. happening, I, I am can't see it. <laughs> also going to use a dark side point to upgrade the attack for Ravnoran. So here comes the lightsaber attack. This is breach one, ignores 10 soak. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, so, you... what, what happened? Remember, I can't see it. Three failures with three advantage. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he, oh my Lord. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. He comes in for a big overhand strike, catching you off guard. You bring your lightsaber up and it clashes down onto your onto your blade. But the force of the impact knocks the lightsaber. Can you can you be, can it knock the lightsaber from your hand? Do you have anything that would prevent that? Um because I'm gonna check. that's what I'm gonna spend the three advantage on. So, I have oh I have resist disarm, but that oh would you do me too strain and knock me unconscious. Oh, so you're uh, just so actually you know what? So I yeah I, I'm 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 gonna lose that lightsaber, y'all. Okay, so the, I can't be knocked unconscious so at this point. The lightsaber goes flying out of your hands and it goes basically out within short range of you as it rolls kind of across the floor. You are now disarmed. Okay. He did not hit you, uh, but now he has a maneuver. So he's going to shift around the other side, blocking your path to your lightsaber. Okay. I'm jumping in. Okay, that ends his turn. PC. I'm popping into this one. I'm going to... Or not, but I'm going to uh, catch his attention and say, uh, Boy, uh, emo boy, I tell you what, <laughs> did you I'll just join. did you just call him emo boy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's his new name. Ah. We don't know his name anymore. It's, 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 it's a Nautilin kind of a culture thing. They have a whole culture, <laughs> subculture, a Nautilin culture called emo. It's just have our info just like to the side. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, keep talking about us joining your side. Because you ain't got much of a side there left. But you can always join our side. I'm going to try and see if I can pull him away from his evilness and influence him to our side. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. I will roll my fours. And no matter what, I'm just going to do it. Let's just see how this goes. Because I'm going to use my fours first. Dark side, fine. Choose it. You can take the light side. Um, I inflict some sort of emotion if he can be influenced. That's actually another point too. Yeah, I'm double checking the rules on that. Uh, opposing which... side can be bargained with. If the opposing side can be bargained with, uh, it may help to convince them to cease fire until a mutually acceptable compromise is negotiated. Mercenaries can be paid off. Gains can be convinced uh, to find other people to harass. Wookies can be belly rubbed. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> a star bounty hunter may be able to leave you alone for to give enough with enough time to give you information, uh, which will then lead them to bigger fish. But that's the story's decision to the GM. Okay. Um, yeah. This is going to be... Yeah, we're going to do a contested check. Okay. Uh, did you roll the dark side? Is that what you rolled? Yeah. 
Okay, did you roll dark side last time? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, f I forgot to mention that you need to double your conflict points. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is, this is where we're going we are with gonna, it. After this session, we're going to have a dark side user. <laughs> dark side. And I think the red, oh. uh, the red on your Discord video right now is very, very well uh, planned out there. <laughs> 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 um, the last time actually two light sides that's why i didn't that's why you didn't yeah so this time you take two conflict uh instead of just one ouch guys i'm going because there. you were the lucky there. winner this week for the triggered Yay. morality okay <laughs> <So glad. laughs> um, um, his, it's his dis it's his discipline so uh, I believe that is one red and two purple. Now, do I have points? Yes, I have one, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and flip two. So go ahead and upgrade the difficulty. And that will... That will so if I'm out. using my light destiny point already, you can use it into because i just flipped mine to right the dark. i i had i had one there that i can flip uh mm. yep because he had one left if he was at sitting at zero i was at zero i couldn't it. do anything i couldn't contest it okay there we go then and it's my discipline or is it my coercion or hmm what am i doing okay okay you're channeling the dark side to do this so, uh, you're channeling the dark side to try to get somebody to turn to the light. How would you word that? Deception. Yeah, I, I would go with that. To... Trying to deceive him into the light. Side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and uh, yeah, uh, make the roll. Let's see what happens, and then you can RP it out. Because this is interesting. Okay. I like this. Show where they bring kids to jail to try to like. Uh, <laughs> scared straight. Scared straight. Scared yeah, straight. that's it. Scared. Scared straight. Oh. Oh. That black was. Oh. oh. No. Okay. So here's the deal. It succeeds, but you yeah. suffer two strain. And you're now his apprentice. In a, in a despair. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. That was a quick draw. That was good. A despair. No, they, they, they switch, and now he's the evil. <laughs> your enemy is now Nico, and your best friend is the dark side user. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Something really bad is supposed to happen with that despair. Huh. I wonder if it tells me. Gosh. Uh, influence. They don't have a chart for like despair for force powers. They only have it for like combat. So I don't have a whole lot to go from, but go, okay. RP this. What do you? What exactly are you saying to him? I, it's a bargaining chip. He says, "You're gonna tell me that you spent all that time locked away in the dark. It didn't teach you anything. It made you weak." Made you afraid to turn to the light. But a scary cat, aren't you? Afraid of the light actually <laughs> shining on you, showing you who you truly are. Okay, as this is happening, you guys start to feel feel that <laughs> all around <laughs> the uh, the temple, oh, no. and he looks at you and he says, "I am not afraid." They kept me locked away down there in that pit for years. And he starts to like go into like this fits of, fits of rage and some of the, some cracks start to form around on the walls. 
<laughs> and Nico, a part of that pillar that you're standing next to cracks off and starts to fall towards you. And you dive out of the way last minute as this thing slams onto the ground beside you. Um, you, you are now currently prone on the ground beside there because you had to dodge out of the way of this crumbling, uh, the crumbling walls and pillar uh, that's happening here. As, as you, uh, you, you have, you have dug into something severe with Ravnoran right now. And he has completely looked away from Yeska and is just looking at you. So the despair is going to be not only that you are prone, but also Yeska will have an upgrade to anything that he does towards Ravnoran. Because he's kind of left his attention. He's, yeah, focused in on Nico. Oh. So that's what the despair is. Uh, the despair for Nico was he had to dodge out of the way. And this actually gives uh, Yeska a little bit of an advantage too. Because that was a good role play and I like that. Whew. Um, two NPCs, but I think I only have one more left. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get yeah, rid of that one. one crazed prisoner and Ravnoran. That's it. Yeah, so the other crazed prisoner is going to go... He's back there uh, focused on uh, Raven. So he's going to continue to beat up on Raven. So two purple, one black, two black for Raven. One black. One black. You got it. Two purple, one black. Don't think um, can, can I mm -hmm. spend a light side to upgrade difficulty? Yes, you can. So upgrade the difficulty, then you can go ahead and flip. Ooh. I'm out. I'm pretty sure I'm oh. out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten soakable damage. Ten. Oh, there's no way. Hey, has she has Raven taken her turn yet? No. Not yet. Are you still no. in dodge? defense or whatever that is i am still technically in dodge defense okay i can roll just a uh, setback and then we can see yeah. if anything happens if to that, that yeah here we I go let's so, gonna... so it oh. just adds an additional threat to them okay um <clears throat> let me calculate i don't <laughs> think i'm still up but hang on 10 they got you unconscious <laughs> Uh, six plus six you... is twelve. Twelve, right? <laughs> I'm like blanking right now. Six plus six, you twelve. Have... Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm still up. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was close. That and was okay. I'm gonna say with those three threat, this this crazed prisoner has broken the weapon over your armored helmet, and is now has no weapon at all. <laughs> hurt. yeah you're pretty hurt uh, uh now we got two pcs to finish the order so who uh who didn't go this turn i didn't so go raven and who else didn't go raven and dran yeah raven and dran yeah yep do you want to go or do you want me to go, go oh <laughs> I'll go. I'm gonna blast this guy. Blast the guy next to you? Yeah. Okay, so um, you're engaged with him, so it's gonna take the difficulty to two purple if you're shooting him? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I have point blank if I hit. Uh... You know what? I'm going to upgrade again. Okay. <laughs> Smoke him if you got him. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. oh mama. 
well. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, you can describe how you blast this guy, probably off of this ledge and into the water down below. <laughs> yeah, um, I just headshot him. Honestly, it's a headshot <laughs> at this point. Goes flying, rolling off the ledge, and you hear a splash as he plunges into the water below. And you have one, two, three, four, five advantage you can All spend. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to heal strain times four and boost Dran. Boost Dran, okay. Yeah, now that, now that it seems like all the threats over here have been dealt with, gives Dran this sense of focus on what what to do next. Dran, you're up. You. Uh, oh, techni yeah. oh, technically you do have a maneuver, Raven, I believe. Do you want to Oh, yeah. That? Then I'm I'm going to Hmm. Sorry about that, MG. Ready your aim, too. Just in case. Yeah, I'm going to aim. Aim to Ravnoran? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um And what you can do, uh Christy to help you remember your aiming. As you could do this, you could see that little plus blue symbol there. Yeah, oh. that'll that'll, oh. that'll help you to remember that you have a blue on your character. Cool. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So that way you guys can use those. Yep. Yep. There you go. Cool. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Dran, you're up. You're All boosting. Right. Uh. How far am I from Ravnoran? Short range. Short range. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Or I'm close. Kind of close range. Yeah. Close range. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. look down on my hand a little bit. Appalled at what I did to that poor, you know, deranged figure there. <laughs> shake it off, pull out my trusty old blaster, and uh, I'm gonna take take aim at Ravnoran and take the okay, shot. Okay, uh, if you you had your blaster out already, right? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. You I did because yeah, you came in with it yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So you can aim. So it's two blue boosts. Two blue. This is going to be two purple. <laughs> Purple? It's, oh, oh, it's up it's upgraded once because he's adversary and i'm gonna go ahead and spend a destiny point to upgrade it a second time so that means that i'm two purple with two upgrades yep can i draw upon the force to guide my own shot <laughs> you may <laughs> <laughs> i have to use a light side to get there <laughs> yep so we evened it out fire away at this this guy see what happens i will i'm gonna flick the stun before i do this okay because he's talking all this smack to me about right now he's yeah right now yeah he's looking and looking with rage in his eyes towards nico all right here we go boom oh, okay. oh. A, triumph. <laughs> a triumph in there oh Okay, so, just, so that's 10 with Pierce 1. Okay, 10 with Pierce 1 means he can only soak 4. Unless that, that triumph is a crit too, if he chooses. Yeah, if he chooses a crit, yeah. So that's um, 6 damage. Let me see something really quick. Uh... He's gonna go ahead and take that. That's stun damage, right? So that's strain. Yeah, I guess. Did you, turn, I thought, did you turn your stun off? I flipped it to stun. He flipped it to stun. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All it's all strain. Six strain damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you do suffer did two. Po you two take. You take strain. I take how much strain? Okay, two. two. Is it one or two? Two strain, and I want you yeah. to describe uh, describe how you knock Ravnoran unconscious. Oh, yes. ho, ho. all right. After you know, <laughs> so you know, he, after his whole speech about like you know me, you, you know, feeding into my hate and everything that I did that thing, I'll I just shake it off and I'll aim at him. You know, visibly flip the stun and you know, say, not this time, not this time. Aim right at his head, and, <laughs> and his light his lightsaber goes. Turns off, slams to the ground right there next to Yeska, and he falls over, uh, trips over some of the debris, and falls unconscious onto the ground. Stunned. Stunned. What do you want to do with the Triumph? 
Um, with the tribe, I guess, could I say that I knocked the... Oh, he already dropped his lightsaber, right? Yeah, yeah. when he went unconscious, he dropped it. Yeah. Could I use my triumph to, like, I don't know, reach over and, like, slap a control panel to put him in stasis or something? Is that a thing? Sure. we have the... Yeah. All right. You activate a stasis trap. <laughs> and Ravnoran is consumed by it and just floating in there unconsciously. And I'm going to take... You're not going anywhere. And I'm going to take you guys out of encounter because there are no more threats. Well done, Doctor. And take off Do the... Do a... deal with them. <laughs> I'm going to take out the combat music and just give us some more uh, ambient sounding uh, tunes here. How do we heal strain at the end of the encounter? What is it based off presence? Uh, cool or, or cool? You make, a, uh, you make a check. I believe it is discipline or... Oh, right. We, uh, yeah. we, we're we doing it by the book rules instead of the starter set rules. Where's the healing uh, chapter? Conflict it would be after this. Because that was definitely an epic conflict. Uh, okay, uh, here it is. I thought I had it. Uh, simple discipline or cool check. And every success you get is a healed uh, is healed strain. So simple means no difficulty. No purple dice. No setback. Nothing. You're just going to roll your discipline or cool. And however many successes you get, that's how many strain you heal. Does the boost affect this or no? Um, there's uh, a boosts will no, right? Yeah, it, no. Yeah, since okay. it's since it's simple, it's just basically based on gotcha. your stat. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So yes, go gets the advantage count in this. Unfortunately, <laughs> in this situation, advantage does not count. It's only for successes. Okay, so I can't use the four advantage for. A critical cool. <laughs> critical cool. <laughs> Criti come, come critically cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I love it. That's a stream name if I ever heard one. That's it. That's it. Uh, As this energy field seems to dissipate off the archive, and Heathen Roman rushes out to greet all of you. Uh, a little bit of panic and despair on her face but also looks uh, to see that Rav Naran is stuck in the stasis chamber and a sigh of relief leaves from her pressured shoulders as the situation seems to be under control. What do you guys do? Is it though? Is that safe? Can you do that brain thing? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, gate, the gatekeepers all start to kind of re-form uh, around you guys, uh, all three of them. Like, oh, you've... The jailer looks at you. You've, you've trapped him once again. Very, very good, all of you. Uh, we tried our best to make sure that he wasn't going to escape without running into our trusted allies. Uh, we had foresaw that you could be the ones that stop him. I all plan on explaining this anytime soon. Yeah, what the bloody hell? <sighs> yeah. Uh, the jailer yes, he just moves over to the other side, picks up his lightsaber, and checks it for Nyx. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty good. It looks like it's in good shape. You don't see anything that's uh. So the jailer kind of looks at you and and just says, "This this place is is supposed to be a place of solitude, a place of rest." A place of recovery. Those who most need, those who most needed my aid, were sometimes restrained until I could find a way to treat them and restore their spirits. It was for their own safety, rather than as pu punishment or any misguiding or misdeeds. Ravnaran and some of these others were some of the only patients. That I've ever failed to treat. The only beings 
held in restraint for any great length of time, if the Republic and the Jedi Order had remained able to support this temple, the Dawn Temple, even they, over time, would have likely been restored. This is a place of solitude. It's a place of rest. Their actions created consequences to pass far years of recovery. Cracked rib. <laughs> Dude, uh, <laughs> not coming back from that state. You know, Is there hope? It's in the dark and I can see myself. Not much light left in a person like that. Understandably. He, he, well, I, I say he looks at you, but he just sets his attention toward you because he has no eyes. He just has a blindfold. Remember, he's that, that guy yeah. that is born without eyes. Uh, so he looks towards you. And as, as you're saying this, Nico, he's like, he kind of shakes his head in disagreement with you and says, I do not believe this is the case, but I cannot say for certain. I do not believe anyone, anyone is beyond redemption. But I do fear for the lives of any who fall prey to anything that he could do in the future. I don't condemn him. He so readily condemns you all. But if we could turn him to the light side, he'd be a powerful ally. Yes. But I don't think he'll be needing this. And I, I go and I pick up his red lightsaber. Oh, his uh, his fanny pack is laying there too. <laughs> and I, I, get, I, get, I get the red lightsaber <laughs> and the fanny pack. Okay. <laughs> I love that this dark side is user has a freaking him, fanny pack. That's that's like that's like Who one let of him have this. You let him keep this? If you fall to the dark side, that's the first uh, other than your red lightsaber, <laughs> you get a fanny pack. That's You get a fanny pack. <laughs> oh. Part of the combo. A point of conflict yeah. for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the it's part of the welcome package. <laughs> as your a gift basket. As you're going through his fanny pack, uh there seems to be credits in there. It looks like he had 500 uh, credits in his belongings. And there's also a stim pack. What kind of another prisoner, stim pack? What kind of prisoner has weapons and money? Well, we do have a lot of prisoners. We we do have lockers down below that they were able to have some this isn't a prison, remember. This is a place of, of recovery, of refuge. Most of our individuals were not held in this way. Most would come because they felt the dark side lurking in them and they wanted to rechannel their light side energy. So they would come here because this planet Spintir is peaceful. It's nature. It's not congested by all the big cities and everything else that's going on. It's a place that we could go to get away. That's what the purpose of this temple was for. It's underwrought with darkness. Saw that in the caves. Seen that here. I was just going to say, this place doesn't feel very peaceful. Right. Not at the moment. Now. What's his story? Jailer, you should know. He came to you, I'm assuming. He, yes, um... Before the Clone Wars broke out, Rav Naran was a rising star within the Jedi Order, a senior knight renowned for his discipline and his courage. Many thought he would soon join the Jedi Council. His ascension was delayed when fighting broke out across the Republic, although he, like many others, was afforded the rank of general in the Republic's military during the crisis. Rav was never one uh, of the... Rabber was never one the Order's more forgiving or gentle peacekeepers, and his battles in the Clone Wars only encouraged his sterner nature. He hardened. He grew sharper. 
dealing with his foes with increased harshness, until at last he broke and became that, that in which he despised. In honor of the man he once was, I shall not speak of his fall. Indifference to the realities of the creature he has become, I must warn you. At one time he slew many before he came here. Including some of his own brethren within the Jedi Order. I came to you seeking some sort of diligence of his discipline. Light seeking. Well, Ravnaran was one of the few that didn't come here under his own power. Who brought him here? His comrades he did not slay. He was captured by his own men. What'll happen to him now? Please stay like this. If you don't mind, I would like to try again. There is light in there somewhere. I know you can feel it as I do. He's a scared man. Broken. Very, very broken. I agree. I would imagine it. Make sure to Some put much. proper security protocols, though. Yeah. Well, I think part of the issue was that uh, over the many years, our pro our it's become dormant here at the temple. Um, things need fixed. Things more need than, repaired. I was hoping maybe that you could that, help I, out. I notice with him specifically, he um, darkness brought forth a. Uh, a specific hatred for him. Caused quite a bit of strife in the temple, as you can see. It rocked him deeper to the core. To do this, I would kind of Mika looks at the rest. I want to see this um, process that you do with him. It won't be easy for you to watch. Can't be any easier than being knocked over by a pebble. Would you do me a favor, Nico? The other gatekeepers have let me know that you are skilled in repairing this temple. I can patch up this work. It's not going to take too long. <laughs> we need to make sure that Ravnaran's stasis chamber is repaired below. So that we, we can avoid this happening again anytime soon. We're talking about something more powerful. Something a bit more Permanent. Well, I don't know if that would only make the situation worse. And a couple of pillows. I can feel like he's having a spa treatment. <laughs> Nico, I'm not sure you know how stasis chambers work, but sure, we, 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 can, we, we can attempt. With a pillow, give a spa treatment day, give a spa day. So uh, basically you can tell that the jailer, there's no place to really, there's no place, you can tell like there's no place really to take him. Like there's no place that, like, he feels like putting him back down below 
is probably going to be the best bet for him and everyone else. Um, we don't want to just keep him here as like a floating display piece. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's just a the, warning he's, to our enemies. <laughs> it's, you know, it's kind of walk when you walk in front lawn. When you walk in that rich doctor's house and he has that big fish aquarium as a wall, you guys have that. <laughs> you guys have a, a stasis chamber with floating bad guys in it. <laughs> I'm also a big game hunter. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big game hunter. <laughs> yep. Um, I hunted the most dangerous what game. A, man. I imagine that um, he would be able to at least draft out a plan of kind of a force reactor that kind of comes in three different directions um and they all point at a central point okay they can probably it's not like trying to think about this humanely but he knows the throttle of a jet and heat it pushes uh momentum and mass forward causing the other item to go back but if he was create like a, a cage as usual and then use uh, some of the reactor of the the temple itself as like literal kind of like Jedi push push them to one spot keeps them in one place without crushing them just like just enough force from either end so it keeps them from moving you just essentially just be suspended and feeling a sense of pressure yeah I, I would say you like, could like a suspension chamber kind of like what he's in <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, well, you could you could enhance it. You could you could just like juice its power a little bit if you wanted to do something like that. Oh, okay. Um, but what he's, no, yeah. Recruit this guy to the Alliance Weapons Division. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The thing that make it, uh, Reverse the more, polarity. Yeah, the, the thing that would make it more conflictual for Nico is that he's thinking about creating a kind of. Uh, spectrum dial and if this process requires a bit of literal pressure into coercion he would be able to perhaps build reactors that could take a little bit more pressure in which case he would be experiencing the same pain that he brought to us in theory okay so the three dials would crank up one at the same time, and it would almost feel like he's being kind of crushed by the three. Okay. Okay. He has this like clockwork okay. orange. For this guy. He's thinking about because he doesn't he doesn't know, but he does know that the jailer said he wouldn't wouldn't enjoy watching it. And so he's thinking, maybe I need to build this as a the means to whatever procedure goes down there okay so what are the rest of you kind of doing as nico is having this conversation uh... <laughs> healing. <laughs> healing. Uh, you said that there's a, a stim pack and how many credits in this fanny uh, pack? A stim pack 500? and 500 credits. And each okay. of the bad guys that you guys knocked out too had 50 credits on them apiece. So that'd be an additional 200. So that's 700 credits total. Mm -hmm. Um, Are we keeping track of party loot? Like is someone putting this? I can put it up. Credits, or, or are we splitting it? It's like one seventy-five. It would be roughly, yeah, two, yeah, two. We've been splitting it, right? Twenty-five. We've been splitting it pretty evenly, but yeah. just so we know, this one is two twenty-five each. Two twenty-five. Two twenty-five. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. All right. In the yeah, I'll I'll say that I hand out however much that was. Okay. I keep the stim pack though. Okay, <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm gonna use pay for that other job, the uh, job with the the mercenaries. I can't remember. 
yeah how did that go <laughs> Um, I think the way it, I think you got paid in the favor that they caused the distraction. Yeah, if I, if I remember they, right, they, wanted, they, they just wanted the uh, yeah, they wanted the artifacts back, but we didn't bring them back anything. We brought back a broken artifact. Yeah, you guys actually have the artifacts, right? Because you basically yeah, told them you didn't get any, and you took the artifacts for yourself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we didn't get anything. Oops. <laughs> At some point, <laughs> was that MG? I tried to sell those at some point. Yeah, you know yeah. And Michael, you said when we used Impact again, it's down to four for the next one and three. Yeah, it goes down one each time you use one until uh, okay. the last one does only one, and then four. they won't have an effect until the next day. It's kind of like the potency okay. of the medicine doesn't work too well each time you use it. Uh, Michael, I'm going to patrol the temple and make sure that it didn't take any damage in this conflict. Make sure that, like, all the computer systems are running properly, all the defenses. Okay. Just, you know, especially with that whole thing where the whole place is shaking and a pillar almost crushed. Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you go around and it seems like the the central core of the systems are all good to go. Uh, it looks like as Ravnaran was coming up through the levels... The sentry guns, like you can see uh, lightsaber marks, like where he basically hacked the, the sentry guns and destroyed a lot of the lower defenses on his way up through. Um, but as far as like the root computer systems go, they seem to be in working order. Nice. Cool. Catch my comms and I'll just make sure that me and, me and Dr. Dran kind of like do a full assessment of what type of work we need to do in the next couple of days. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a lot like the other the other mechanics check that you guys made in a previous uh, session where you guys make one, basically you spend all day working on things and you make one rule. And however many successes you get is basically how, how much good you do that day. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different though because these, these are not just dormant systems, these are now damaged systems. So it mm. probably will take you twice, maybe three times the amount of time to fix them. But you do have the second level, which has a lot of the equipment that you need to be able to repair most of the stuff. Nice. I go up to Raven and I say, so, uh, oh, Birdie told me that she had these, uh, tools that, uh, can be useful for fixing things. Yeah, some... Birdie was very advantageous to uh, bring this up to me now because um, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a couple of hacks in the flash over there, a little uh, bust. I and might have noticed when it was happening, yeah. So, um, I could talk. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> Nico? Yeah, this. <laughs> what? You were very vague about what exactly you want me to do with my it's for the help. Why are you going downstairs? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I had already injected one stim pack, so I took the four, and then I did another one as Nika was leaving, just shaking my head. All right, I guess I'm working now, and I just stabbed. <laughs> so I used two stim packs. Okay. And well, don't forget. I think I each of you I have a med to pack too. That you go. Oh yeah. yeah. Anybody that needs some first aid over the next. However long we're here, I can do that. Yeah, some, uh, probably later. Um, <laughs> You're here when it comes. Hey, uh, Dr. Dren, I need that back rub. She got food. a little stressed yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, uh, Jim, just to let you know, that lightsaber that you picked up from Rav Naran, uh, it has, uh -huh. a, it has a, a red blade, so it has the red... Mm -hmm. <laughs> crystal in it means good guy um <laughs> basically yeah, red it, means good right take <laughs> take take the red basic stop you're already a good guy it it does it does the same thing as a basic lightsaber except its damage is increased by one it's base damage so it's a damage seven critical two lightsaber but nice. red does does the fact that it's red have any kind of it'll make you look like a villain <laughs> Yeah, does it have any kind of uh, disadvantage to me? Nope. Because it's a bad guy's weapon. Just because it's a bad guy's weapon doesn't necessarily mean you cannot use it. Okay. <laughs> it's more about the well, moral, I, I, like... Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about, like, kind of like, 
lightsaber stuff that, that Jim is aware of is that if they do something to the Kuiper crystal to make it red, to make it damaged, therefore it has had something bad happen to it. So I didn't know if that would, you know, make me um, turn subtly well, eviler by it, using it. And in the past, um, red crystal lightsabers have been taken by Jedi and have been redeemed and changed color. Uh, I think it was, Ooh. I think it was the, what's her name? Ash, Asho, what's, what's, what's the? Ashoka. Ashoka, that's Ahsoka. it. Ashoka. Uh, she took, okay. uh, that's why her lightsabers are white. Because she, oh, she they, yeah. one of them, I think one of them, She's or both the of them, character I'm aware of. were stolen from <laughs> a dark side user. And she actually oh. changed the color. I don't know oh, how, I don't know how, me. I didn't, I, I just. <laughs> If you if you Google it, it'll probably tell you a whole story about how. But I know that's the one instance that I know of, so it can be done and it has happened. Um. Uh oh, we lost Jim. Point. No. Oof. Are you there? Come back, Jim, because now there's two Michaels on the screen, and that's really weird. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and, <laughs> sorry, I, I knew that picking up this red lightsaber was going to be a bad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I guess this is a terrible example, but if you remember when Anakin beat Dooku, uh, he actually used Dooku's lightsaber <laughs> to, to hack off his head. Uh, I don't. Oh. Uh, and see how well that worked out. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, so true. I, I, that's why I said it's a bad example, but it, it didn't stop him from right. using it. <laughs> so you said it's a basic lightsaber. Plus one, two yeah. critical. Yeah, it'd be a seven seven damage base with two critical. All the other lightsaber stats are the same for it. As a basic lightsaber. The, um... Okay. I might spend some time tinkering with this. <laughs> cool. In the uh, workshop, he, uh, I think Nico would kind of like get everything set up, but then he would, uh, I'm pretty sure like most of the systems have kind of like a call button for the holocron to kind of uh, summon someone. Oh yeah. Um, he, would, he would try and see if he can summon uh, the gatekeeper. Uh, which one? The curator? The, the one that you saw first? Mentor. Yeah, the, the, the mentor. Okay, yeah. So this uh, Serene in blue kind of holographic image kind of appears. Mm -hmm. Um, Nico's just going to be holding out in front of him a uh, uh, hologram, the uh, Sith blade. It says, uh, yeah, uh, Cap, I remember I told you I wanted to become a bit more disciplined. Yes? You, um... For a moment. Do you honestly think that I'm, um, writing you for such a thing as a the force sometimes sometimes it's not so much as if you're ready sometimes it's more are you willing Nico, I'm not going to lie. I sense conflict in you. But no one, absolutely no one, lives their life with no conflict. Where there's light, there will always be the darkness. The question is, how will you respond when the darkness shows up? Do you succumb to it? Or do you fight it? Sir? 
So I ask you, Nico. What are you? I am. Pops was supposed to have me uh, ship off to the academy. He actually got me all set up and uh, they found me. The day that I was ready to go, they uh, announced that um, things hadn't gone too well down at the academy. And I just kind of went into hiding. I was going to put away everything that I had. I acted like he wasn't there anymore. Huh. But in acting like he wasn't there anymore... You're only fooling yourself. Oh. Blame the trouble that came into our parts. We just wanted simple things. We kept coming around, snooping about. But that's no just for my family to put all that work to try and hide me. Wasn't doing any good in the, there anyhow. I like, I fly folks around and this bashful bunch where they needed to go. I think you as a mentor kind of let me change my perspective in things, really. That is uh, trained at some other folks. You know, still kind of learning where I'm going. Well, it seems like destiny has brought you here. You are now in our care. This is the help that we can provide you, Nico. I look up to uh, an old war hero. Kid. I had pictures of him put up everywhere. He did a lot for the, the Clone Wars and he never really said what happened to him. Not really. It's always so curious to be that, to be that person, be like him. I think the more that I try to be like someone, uh, the more I realize I'm a it's all the more different. Perhaps you're trying too hard to be someone else, Nico. Have you tried focusing on being Nico first? Uh, here's that and see him kind of inspect the, the Sith blade once more. Drops it down. He still has the, like, at his work table, the crystal that he found, as well as some of the parts for the, the saber. All right, all right. She, <laughs> jamming around. Yeah, she, she looks down at all these parts that you're looking down at, and she's like, she uh, kind of looks over at you and says, Nico, it's not going to build itself. <laughs> <laughs> Nico's actually going to laugh at this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I, yeah, yeah. Enough of the jibber jabber. We, uh, nice, um, talk show. Um, same time, uh, Prime time tomorrow, and just kind of turns the, the hologram off. The okay, <laughs> got you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like okay, go away, gatekeeper. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <It's great. laughs> emotion. <laughs> um, he will continue building the the parts for the prisoner because he knows that's important. Okay, but I think he wants to take a little bit more time to see if he can 
seen it before. He wants to see if he can actually build the double-ended blade. Oh, Take the, his time with that. the one that you saw from Tizo. Like yeah. I'm gonna say, unfortunately, there aren't there aren't the parts here to do it. Oh, yeah, he definitely you, knows. You you have you feel as if you would be able to at some point if you had the right equipment. I've got a whole extra light We need table. a shopping episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, I, technically, I, technically I, uh, they have that lightsaber. <laughs> well, technically you guys have access. There's a there's a table down where they a two where two out of the three have built their own uh, with crystals they found in a previous episode. You can build a basic one, but that's all the supplies will allow you to build here at this particular one. Um, so yeah, you could you could look around and kind of you're memorizing what Tezos look like and stuff like that. You know, thinking about that. Yeah, but, kind of blueprinting it. Like yeah. I say, it's probably more of a blueprinting phase. But this is the moment where we have that like montage of like <laughs> rusted root on my way. Yeah, uh, on my way. <laughs> 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 He gets done, but in the montage is kind of short because he like looks through and he's like, ah crap, it just doesn't have enough parts. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad you brought up Rusted Root. I'm gonna have to go listen to that now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dran, Boom, that's that Dran, is there anything in particular you'd be doing while uh, Nico is going through this uh, this little moment? Doing general maintenance on the, you know, on the building, just making sure everything's okay. Got to rest mm -hmm. up a little bit. Okay. I do want to go find Yeska. Okay. Yeah. After the after you do those initial checks, you make your way to Yeska. Okay. Hope I'm not bothering you. No, not at all. How can I help you? I wanted to extend my gratitude. We're we're fortunate that we ran into you here. I think that the recent battles may not have gone so smoothly without you. Hey, you know, looks like you do just fine without me. I'm just happy to be part of this. You're pretty he vicious. Slaps you, he slaps oh. you on the shoulder, like, <laughs> kind of kind of roughly, like, <laughs> you're not so bad for a <laughs> oh. And so, like, because you have... I remember in the in the last episode, you did know a little bit about uh, the Chiss culture from a role you made. So you mm, know yeah. that the word Dinshala means like an outsider. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like for, for the Chiss, they're very they're very insular, and so it's like them and everyone else. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I love that lore drop. That's uh, awesome. That is awesome. Oh. Yeah, you, know, you you got a very good shot on the on our unfortunate uh, friend here, and he he kind of you know in reference to uh, to Rav. Yeah, he had it coming. Uh, it was uh, it had to be done, you know. Yeah, hopefully we can get him to feel a bit more uh, positive about things instead of being so whiny and always with his hair <laughs> in his face. And... <laughs> Thing it's, in just, your, uh... <laughs> it's just exhausting. <laughs> so, uh, what, what's next on your on your agenda here? Are you planning on sticking around a bit? I think so. I think I want to check out some of the defenses. Maybe even practice a little bit with this. And he, he, you know, turns on that the red one, and then pulls out his own gold one turns that one on and just kind of you know safe distance from Dran like not like right in his face and just kind of wants to <laughs> kind of wants to see how using both of them looks impressive I'm, I'm a bit of a beginner with the that the saber myself but you know at some point if you'd like to duel come find me you might have to go a little easy on me at first but later uh... on I'll <laughs> I think you underestimate yourself. I think I can give you some tips, though. Thank you, thank you. 
Uh, in fact, uh, and he would extend this to anybody, anybody who wants to train with the lightsabers. I, I would be willing to do that. Good to know. Good to know. What about you? What are you going to do? Well, I've got some maintenance to do around here, but uh, I think yeah, I, I think that's a good question. Is what's next on the agenda? Yeah, you know, we've we found these holocrons, right? But there, there's all kinds of wisdom inside. Is is there more for us to find out there? I wonder. Probably. I don't think we will ever get enough wisdom. There's more to this temple. But I think uh, maybe you could teach, maybe I could teach you some of the lightsaber stuff, and perhaps maybe you can teach me some of the mechanics. Yeah, there are a couple of us that are pretty good at that. Uh, yeah, I, I know I, absolutely I, I, nothing about the machines. I just know <laughs> uh, how to direct the troops. And, really? Uh, oh, yes. We, uh, we learn many things in the Chiefs military. I belong to an organization that at some point you may be uh, interested in getting involved with, although it could put a price in your head. So uh, we'll That's let you okay. make that choice on your own. <laughs> Here uh, one intercom. organization at a time for me, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. No Here offense. Intercom. No offense. Uh, Thank you, though. Admiral Dren, Admiral Dren, can you please give me those reports when you get those in? <laughs> Thanks, Admiral. <laughs> Paging Admiral. You realize, if someone caught me being referred to as an admiral, I could probably be court martialed. So, <laughs> throwing that out there. Sorry, <clears throat> Admiral. MG, you are on fire tonight. Holy yeah, crap. That's good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yes, good. Good talk. I have got some good work to do. <laughs> yes, he bolts. This guy doesn't blow up the whole temple. So, uh, yeah. uh, because of that conversation you guys just had, uh, Yeska brought something up during that conversation that I'm going to bring up mechanically. Uh, now that you guys have the third holocron secured and it is yours uh, and you obtain it, you guys can now mark off discipline and medicine as career skills. If you haven't already had them marked off on your character sheet. I can actually get good at healing. <laughs> I already have discipline. I definitely have. Oh, no, I don't. Yep. So those become career mm -hmm. skills, meaning that if you want to upgrade them, it'll be a lot cheaper for you to do so because you have the, nice. be the benefit of the jailer to help yeah. talk you through it and train you on those skills. That's what that kind of does. You said medicine is the other one? Medicine, medicine and discipline. discipline. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I wonder which one I will take. You take um, you take both. I, I mean, well, I mean, you get them you get them both, but yeah, you, if you they're wanna, career skills. They're career skills, so they're both yeah, cheaper now. I want to rank up in. <laughs> so, Raven has actually disappeared. Um, yeah, what's Raven doing? Actually, she's <laughs> no. She thought about that, but no, she she's quite hurt. She doesn't want to risk that right now. She wants to heal some more before that happens. She goes back to her room actually, okay, and she locks the door and takes off her helmet mm -hmm. and puts it aside and starts working on um, gadgeteering her gun because I took that last time, and okay. she is going to be make making it more customizable. So technically, in mechanic terms, I'm adding a hard point to my okay. gun. Perfect. But I don't have the equipment to upgrade what I want, so we have to go shopping soon. <laughs> I, she would probably spend probably a good four hours just locked in her room for a while, so you wouldn't see her for about four hours. Now I imagine the screen shows like just the back of her head as she takes off the helmet, so the, it never shows like it's, her face. It never you know? shows my face, but it's <laughs> like her hair. and it, show, it just you, shows you her, her setting hair. the helmet down. Yeah, you see her hair. Yeah, would, would, does like she have dark, long hair dark... or? Is it short? It comes to about her shoulders. So would it kind of like fall down as she takes off the, the helmet? Yeah. Yeah. So no, it comes back to about her shoulders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she keeps it up like in like a bun. Mm -hmm. So she would take that loose, mm -hmm. let her hair, like her scalp breathe for a minute. And it's like a, a dark black to like a seafoam green ombre color. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So yeah, she, uh, she's got she's... a lot of dandruff. <laughs> yeah, it's a bitch. 
yeah. Awesome. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do, uh, Duran, are you helping Nico with uh, with fixing some of this stuff? Uh, Nico, go ahead and you're going to make a mechanics roll. Okay. And you're going to add a blue boost to your mechanics roll. And because things are so damaged, I'm going to say that the difficulty is going to be three purple dice. Um, and you're just going to go ahead and make that roll and we'll see how many successes you get. And if you have anything like if you have tools, I believe that adds another blue boost to your I check. I have my tools on me. All right. And this is specifically for just restoring, storing the place together, right? Yeah, it's like pick it like putting some of these like turrets back together that Ravnoran destroyed with his lightsaber and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh wow! Hey, that wire. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, um, yeah. You get you, you get that wire. Okay. That day was very <laughs> successful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to generally uh, what I'm going to say is you guys kind of got a, like a week of downtime here that you guys are just chilling at the temple. Nothing seems to happen. You guys, uh, I would say that first mechanics rule was to repair the stasis chamber for Ravnaran. So you got him like set. I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna just gonna call that mechanics check like the whole week. You've been just working. And you've got yeah. Cause Raven would have stuff. jumped in to help during the yeah, week. Yeah, I mean, no problem. If, if you score one success, you you do it. Basically, is the way the All way right. this is going to work out. So you guys spend some time. You guys repair those things. You spend about a week just hard working. There's a montage of you guys just like all together, like building things. <laughs> It's like, I, <laughs> it's like Dran, Dran is showing Yeska how to how to fix something, and he just like hits it with the wrench, <laughs> yes. and then they shake and they turn. They show him how to put the like the wrench socket around to to, to yeah. turn it. Send me on my way. I kind of also I imagine like you know in the in the in the movie uh, Predator when they're all like preparing to set the trap and it's like that montage of them like like pulling up the big massive ropes just like showing off their massive muscles and like oh, you're pushing too many pencils you know <laughs> 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 yeah you guys are like fixing the whole place up. <laughs> <laughs> can we also have maybe like a like a lightsaber training session sure yeah go ahead and describe it I'm, 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 um okay i'm picturing uh kind of like a dance studio type room there's a mirrored wall hey check it check uh, it out check it out back. over here hey, you guys, oh here i'm gonna take, take you guys over. let me take you guys over to the other map uh the jedi temple yes, map please. there is a over on the left side there's a meditation terrace that would be a great place for like a uh, lightsaber. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I'm imagining like a, I'm imagining kind of like an outside terrace uh, mm -hmm. that kind of like you can oversee like things on top of the mountain. Oh yeah, absolutely. And there are kind of small round pillars. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these small round pillars that, that are immovable, which would be good to sit upon and meditate. Alternatively, they would be good, you know, to jump up on, uh, to work on our balance. Oh, yeah. And so uh, I would be kind of in one of the more, the more central ones. Yeska would be uh, with, with my lightsaber and just kind of showing some basic, you know, blade forms. And, and everyone else is also on top of the other uh, meditation seats uh, copying me. And trying. And we're all trying to keep our balance. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, you, you guys go through this oh, trying to keep your balance. I would say, like, the whole group is there. Uh, now, Nico... During this week, prior to the week, would you have built your own lightsaber? Uh, I would have gotten the first kind of half of it done. He, he could have he could have borrowed the, the the red one. Yeah, you're you're holding you're holding Ravnoran's. <laughs> no, like... yeah, touches it. He like looks, He actually looks at Raven while touching it. He's like, 
<laughs> then how about how about this? Uh, Nico could have uh, been practicing with the the Sith sword that he had. That's true. If you'd like to, you know, it, it is yeah. just basic. We're doing just basic form and blade work. Yeah, you're not doing any so like we're not, we're not, we're sparring not, we're not or anything. Heavy sparring. <laughs> we're, we're just we're just learning. Like here's how to hold it and not stab yourself. <laughs> yeah, mechanical question. Uh, Did we get experience? You will in about ten minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm holding off till the no, end. No, because we usually get it. Yeah. Oh, because we, we usually yeah. get it at like the break. So I was just curious. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You will. You will. And then you'll get you'll get experience as if as if you got some at a break and at the end. So since, oh, gotcha, gotcha. since this is the conclusion of our saga, I'm just going to say because this is kind of like just I'm giving you guys an opportunity to just get to know each other in character. Because we haven't really had that opportunity yet with this campaign as it's been more of a learning right. the ropes and learning the rules. Yeah. So now we're kind of learning each other. And we're gonna span off from that. Oh, <laughs> I love that. I, I would say in all the like emotional training and like lining up stuff, as you all are like balancing while holding the blade, you see that Nico's getting like frustrated with like, do I poke? Do I stand? And he just kind of throws the blade down and goes back to the shop to start working. Yes, is going to follow. Oh, Yesko follow. Yesko follows. Okay. Says you two stay here. Practice what I show you. And he's gonna. <laughs> he's gonna pick up the. You're sword. leaving them to their own devices. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> they have doctor, which is fine. I'm the most disciplined of this group. I think I'm fine. <laughs> they're on. They're on stones a, a ways apart. You know, like. Hey, hey, hey! They have to like. Hey. Don't They'd forget. Like don't forget. Them. Don't forget, everybody. Raven like shot them. first. Raven yeah. shot first. I did shoot first. <laughs> That's so Raven. That's so Raven. Damn it. Um, the title of this episode is Raven shot first. It's going yeah. to be that. I bamboozled myself naming her Raven. I just auto bamboozled myself. So <laughs> Hey, Raven, why are you, like, writing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nico gets so up, and he actually is going to be, like, tinkering with something uh, that he's not, he's not, he's kind of huddled over his desk, kind of working on it. All right, so uh, Yeska is going to walk in a little while after uh, holding on to your sword and kind of move around the work table and just kind of sit there and lay the sword on the table and just kind of uh, wait. Just going to look at you patiently. <laughs> Ni Nico, Nico, that feeling like, okay, you're sitting there doing something and somebody's just staring at you. Yeah. <laughs> do, you do you know that feeling? <laughs> that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what you have right now. <laughs> you uh we need something. <laughs> uh, need is a very strong word. I think uh I just Looking. wanted to see if uh if you're okay. Uh doing A-OK, -okay, except I got someone steering my saber daggers down my, my neck. It's a little hot here. All right. I just wonder why you treat your blade so. With such disgrace. Do you treat okay. any of your tools? Like this? Do you throw tools on the ground if they don't work? Tools are different. Tools fix things. They put things together. They make sense. It goes you... with part B. Unless you shop at that one place, uh, I forget what it's called, uh, uh, Aquila. <laughs> this never makes any sense. But tools make sense. That's, that's no tool. That's a uh, 
the instrument of murder. You don't think a chisel is a tool? A chisel cuts, a saw cuts, a knife cuts, all of these are tools. A weapon is just a tool. Not easy, okay? I, I know fixing, I know building, but I don't know how to balance on a frickin' rock. It may seem silly nonsense to be swinging around the sword, but it may be more useful than you think. Balance is very useful in life. If you have an unbalanced machine, will it work properly? I think not. If you don't want to learn the sword, it's fine. But at least treat it with respect. When you disrespect the sword, it can be harmful to you. I just want to make sure you know that everything is going to be fine. And he leaves the sword on the table, pats you on the shoulder, and, and walks out. Nico, you may remove two conflict points. Thank the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> um, and he like waits for Jessica to leave, and when he leaves, it's uh, actually a small kind of metal circlet that has a little locket on it and when it opens up it's a compass and on the back it actually says uh to my kit from pops and you see him just kind of like rewinding and he sees that the 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 compass itself is just kind of rebalancing for which way is north awesome close it Wow. Um, great job, guys. Uh, let's say mechanically, this week, this week passes. This all happens kind of like over a montage of a week. Like these things are just kind of spaced out, you know, in time as we kind of skip from scene to scene illustrating this unless there is something a scene that somebody has in their mind that ha- they just they just have to act out is there is there a scene that anybody has within this week that they feel like they need to do right now if you have one shout it out i don't know how to follow that so <laughs> I, I, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean <laughs> i'm the game master and i don't know <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna touch that that's <laughs> That's gold. Not, I, that's stamp that one and move on. I mean, yeah, I, think, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I could put Raven on pause for that. For that, that, that I was, um, I mean, just yeah, everybody in general. Bow out for this one. No, no, you got, I mean, but you guys had your, mo- I mean, you guys, man, strong RP there. Gosh, all the way around. Very well done. Uh, so a week passes. Dr. Dran. You are messing around with some of the computer systems inside the holocron chamber with the help of the gatekeepers. Heathen Roman is probably at the meditation terrace, probably sitting with Raven, trying to help Raven to just learn how to tune everything out and not let the anger take hold of her. Um... Nico is probably can, still. Can Yeska be in that as well? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. She's just yeah, like Yeska's got some some hidden anger issues. <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs> as you guys are meditating, learning how to, you're learning deep breathing techniques. You know, just going over this over and over again. Um, just just simple force things. Uh, is she? Is she's not really. 
she's not like a Jedi or anything. She just knows a little bit about being force sensitive. Uh, Nico's probably just busy, just clamoring over like his tools, getting things done, getting things fixed during the week. He's been really repairing this place. Uh, Dran, you start, you, as you're messing around with something computer wise, all of a sudden you're stunned by an image that starts to kind of appear holographically in front of you. Um, it appears to be, uh, some kind of signal that you're picking up a distress call and it's blipping kind of in and out. It's hard to tell what, what's going on, but you see an individual there, a, a woman, uh, if, if any of you, are, if, if, if anybody's out there, this is captain Sarah Lynette. Uh, 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 Captain Sarah Net of the of the Silver Star. Uh, we're under attack. If if anyone is out, if you're out there, we could help. We need help. They're coming in. And it just kind of vanishes. Where's it coming from? Um, as you run through on your computer <laughs> checks, uh, it's it's in the outer rim. So it's actually not too far away from you, but the signal was really like on the edge of its like capacity to be able to to send a signal. Um, but it would require some space travel to get there. Pull out my my uh, oh my comic on my thing. Um, hey Nico, you you like flying, right? <laughs> <laughs> you need <laughs> yeah. now you're speaking my language <laughs> and uh Got a stress call yeah. somebody control yeah. yeah oh go ahead keep going mg I, take it mm. i take a there's a button that i've installed uh into everyone's room uh <laughs> <laughs> It is just has the the rebel symbol just flashing. Uh, oh, he knows okay. that he put one on the inside of Raven's helmet. Uh, he put <laughs> one on Yeska's uh, both of Yeska's lightsabers, <laughs> and he put it on the implant of. <laughs> of you're kind of you're kind of like you're kind of like that kid in the elementary school that gets the new sticker pack. And he's just like walking yep. around, like sticking <laughs> stickers on everybody's crap, like <laughs> or dropping okay. that, that F symbol on everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You would have had to, for, for like RP reasons, you would have had to request Raven leave the helmet somewhere, and so she could. <laughs> she's not you comfortable with you enough it. yet to show you her face. Yeah, I'm idea. just picturing like you're <laughs> sitting there and he's like chiseling it while like you're like he's chiseling. just doing it behind like how he just like tapped you on the back and there's a sticker on the back of your helmet. You didn't even raise it. <laughs> can, mine, can mine be like laser engraved on <laughs> on like the, the knuckle duster of my oh, yeah. cure pill oh, yeah. and then like just the, the bottom say, uh, of this one so that way a... whenever I punch somebody it like gets the, <laughs> just the symbol on there. <laughs> <laughs> but it has on it that has like uh you know if you go to like those party city stores they have the little flashing op option where you click it and it flashes a yeah. bunch of colors he hits a button and he has it labeled him as distress it just you guys just see this thing just start flashing in your your various locations <laughs> the bat signal. we have a bat signal we you have a bat signal oh gosh <laughs> it's we all answer the call. Yeah, I I head to the I, the ship. You head to the I'm ship. I'm at the okay. ship already, and I'm already like buckled up and ready to go. Buckled up, ready. Okay. Uh, Heath and Roman looks at uh, Dran before you leave. She's like, mm. "You you have to go, but please be careful." You too. You have a very dangerous asset here. Yeah, we'll we'll take care of everything here, and we'll be here. So if you need a place to hide out, you're, I mean, this is, you've saved this place. As far as we're concerned, use this place for anything that you need. We'll be back. 
May the force be with you. And also with you. And both. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> You guys are cute. That was adorable. Funny, it's the conversation. <laughs> so you guys rush out to the Phoenix. Uh, many of you just running up the ramp. Basically, as the last person's running up the ramp, Nico's already closing the ramp. <laughs> He's... Where's my <laughs> That's um, And Nico lifts off and blasts into... Leaving the atmosphere for the first time of a spin tier into yeah. space. As you guys, there it See, is. You really can't play. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's where we're going to end tonight's episode.